Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to run through what's probably going to be one of the fastest questions that I've ever run through in the entirety of the YouTube channel today. So here we've got a question on element of costing and on the left hand side we have manufacturing costs and on the right hand side we've got inventory charges and what we're being told to do is complete the table below. So we're being asked to work out what the direct materials total cost is and this is going to be really really simple because it is quite simply the direct materials cost that we can see up above in this manufacturing cost. So when we're given a question like this we've got direct and indirect costs and that's what we really want to focus on. So we're going to put the direct materials there. Prime costs is the total cost of all direct costs. So the only direct costs that we have are direct materials and direct labour. So we're just going to go 35,000 plus 69,000 and that gives us £104,000. Now manufacturing overheads. So this is going to be anything that is not being included as a prime cost. So effectively anything that is an indirect cost. And what we can see is it might say in a question, oh costs not associated with making a product or something like that. So that's going to be a indirect cost. Here we've got it really really easily laid out. So we've got indirect materials, indirect labour and factory indirect expenses. So we want to add all those three up. So we've got £6,000 plus 75 plus 21,000. And that there gives us 102,000. I've got a spelling mistake there. So manufacturing costs. So here, all we want to do is take the total of the prime cost and indirect cost. So all of our costs together, so it's just 206,000. So if we have a look at all of that there, that's 206,000. So I'm just going to add that and that together and that gives us that cost of goods manufactured so this is where we want to start looking at work in progress inventory charges so we've got our opening and closing totals over here now with any kind of cost of sales working so cost of goods sold workings you want to have your opening plus your purchases minus your closing so here if we take the 120,000 minus 165,000 and then we add on the £206,000 of manufacturing costs. That's going to give us our cost of goods manufactured. So that's £161,000. Now the cost of goods sold, this is where we want to look at finished goods. So cost of goods sold is again this element here. So the finished goods. And it's the same principle. We want to do opening £49,500 minus closing. And then we want to add the £161,000 of cost of goods manufactured. And that gives us £131,000. And that is it. So if you get questions like this, just keep to this sort of format and you should be able to answer the question. And if you've got any questions on this, just please put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. And all I ask is if you found the video useful, then um, hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing as always, and I shall catch you at the next one.